Hi everyone, today we're going to continue with log and exponential equations. So this is part two of the lesson. So we're going to get started with a warm up. So the first thing we're going to do is solve this equation right here. Um, we're going to subtract six from both sides. We're going to get two times three to the four X plus five is equal to, if I subtract six from both sides, I get one. I'm going to then, you need to get rid of this and we're gonna divide by two on both sides. So we have three to the four X plus five is equal to one half. <clears throat> and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to actually pull this exponent out of its exponential place because it's an exponential equation. And the act of doing that becomes a logarithm. We're taking the inverse. The inverse of an exponent is a log. So by pulling this out front, now it becomes a log. So 4x plus 5 uh, log 3 is equal to log 1 half. We get 4x plus 5 equals log of 1 half divided by log of 3. Now at this point, you have a choice of um, simplifying this if you're allowed to use a calculator. If you're not allowed to use a calculator, then you don't simplify that. So um, you just leave it like that as maybe say like this as a quantity. Um, but then you're still solving for X. So the next thing we're going to do is subtract five. So we get this quantity that we have log of one half divided by log of three. And now we subtract five. And last, in order to get X by itself, we have log of, there's a point in there, 0.5 divided by log of three minus five and all of that and all of that not all of that not the x and the equal sign but all of this is going to be divided by four so technically this right here is my answer my solution if i am allowed to use a calculator then i can simplify that i would do this first this part right here where you'd say log of 0.5 divided by log of three get an answer, subtract five, get that answer, divide by four. Um, the next problem is um, this equation, and I'm gonna solve for x. I do want to remind you that these two values right here, um, to use the property or log properties, addition means multiply. And so I can combine these two into one. So that would be log base eight of x minus three times x plus four, and that equals one. I'm going to use the change of base form. So I'm going to go base eight across the equal sign. So I'm going to go eight to the one power equals um, x minus three times x plus four. Uh, I'm going to simplify this a little bit. I get, and I'm going to distribute the x and the three. So that's called foiling. Um, so I'm going to get, let's fix that. Um, eight is equal to um, x squared plus 4x minus 3x, so that's plus x, minus 12. And we're going to set that equal to zero, and I'm going to get x squared plus x, and then I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides, which makes it minus 20. Um, at this point, I notice that it's quadratic. It is, I did set it equal to zero. And now I just need to factor to solve this. Now I could use the quadratic formula as well. Um, this one I'm gonna use five and four to make negative 20. Those are gonna to multiply to be negative 20. But when I check five X and minus four X, I do add to this number right here in the middle, which is X. I'm gonna divide both, so I'm gonna split this up like this and I'm gonna get X minus four is equal to zero. And I get X plus five equals zero. So I have x is equal to negative 5, and then I have x is equal to 4. So my recommendation is that you check your answers um, because you know that the argument, this value right here, is my argument. This is my argument. That value right there cannot equal 0. Or excuse me, cannot. It, it needs to be a positive number. So when I plug the value in that I got, let's say 4 plus 4 is 8, that works. 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 is positive. This one works, so I do have an answer that is correct, so x equals 4 works. When I plug in negative 5, I get negative 5 minus 3, which is negative 8, and I get negative 5 plus 4, which is negative 1. 
All I need is one negative to say that isn't going to be a solution. If it doesn't work just one time, then it's not a solution. For the next problem right here, um, I actually uh, can do this a couple of different ways. Um, one way that I can do this is to get the same basis. I can solve that by getting the same basis. So in getting the same basis, this is going to be 3 to the 4x plus 1 power is equal to 3 to the third power. But don't forget the 2x, which is already up there, and you need, do need to multiply those. If my bases are the same, then I can set the exponents on top equal to each other. So I can set the, the exponents equal to each other. So I can say now 4x plus 1 is equal to 6x. I'm going to subtract 4x. I get 2x equals 1. I get x equals 1 half. So that's my answer. Um, just to let you know that, again, if I am allowed to use the calculator, um, I can solve it this way also. Um, if I have 3 to the 4x plus 1 equals 27 to the 2x, you see the variables that are in the power position? You take those out, that becomes a log because you're taking the inverse of an exponent, and that becomes a log. So I would go, and this is another way of doing this, um, 4x plus 1, and you get log of 3, uh, is equal to 2x log 28, or excuse me, 27. Um, I'm going to get the logs on the same side, meaning I'm going to divide this log 3 on both sides. So on the right, I'm going to end up with log of 27 divided by log of 3. On the left, I'm going to get 4x plus 1 divided by the 2x, because I divided by that. Now, um, at this point right here, if I had a calculator and I was allowed to use a calculator, I would go log of 27. So uh, you'd go log of 27 um, divided by log of 3, and I should get 3. So divided by log of 3. Okay, and I if my calculator is not working right. But anyway, whatever I get here, what ends up, what it's going to end up happening is, is I am going to cross multiply. And I do know that I do get 3. 4x plus 1 over 2x is equal to 3. That's going to be over 1. And then what I'm going to do is cross multiply, and I have 6x equals 4x plus 1, which is where I am right there. And so, of course, I could just finish doing that. But and I do know that this does take longer, but it is important to know how to um, solve these problems with a calculator as well. Um, this problem right here, unlike the problem previously, um, I cannot get the bases the same. The bases are not going to become, they're not going to be, I, have, I can't make them the same. So I'm, I am going to log. Um, I do want to remind you that you do have an option of ln taking the natural log for both sides you will get the same answer um, this gives me 4x plus 1 equals ln of 8 divided by ln of 5 i get 4x is equal to this quantity ln of 8 divided by ln of 5 minus 1 and then of course the last thing i would do is take ln of 8 divided by ln of 5 minus 1 and, in, and then, of course, dividing that whole thing by 4. And this is my solution to the problem. Keep in mind that I did use a natural log. Um, I didn't have to use the natural log. I could have said 4x plus 1 uh, log 5 equals log 8. And these, be, these are base 10. Um, you're going to say 4x plus 1 equals log 8 divided by log 5, and then et cetera. You just solve for x. Um, now, this one, um, a lot of people haven't seen before. Um, what this one does is basically you notice that you have multiple um, bases, okay, but they are like. So back in algebra, um, when you learned um, multiplying variables like x squared times x to the third. Um, if the rule is, is if the bases are the same, then you can keep the base and add the exponents. So actually that's x to the five. Um, so that's the rule that we're going to be using here. If the bases are the same, we're going to keep 
one of the bases and add the exponents. So we have 4x plus 1 plus 2x. Likewise, we have keep the base, add the exponents. We have x minus 2 plus x. So in this case, when you're doing this, your bases in, these, in this problem, your bases cannot be the same. They're not going to be the same. But what you're going to do, well, let's simplify the top first. So we have 3 to the 6x plus 1 equals 4 to the 2x minus 2. So bases aren't the same. I'm going to log. I'm going to bring that out front. I get 6x plus 1 uh, log 3 is equal to 2x minus 2 log 4. And I'm going to get my logs together and my variables together. So I have um, 6x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 2 is equal to log 4 divided by log 3. Um, in this problem, you would need a calculator um, because I don't know what log 4 divided by log 3 is off the top of my head. So I'm going to go log of 4 equals um, divided by log delete. Oh, divided by uh, log of 3. Okay. And my answer is 1.262. So this equals 1.262. So I have 6x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 2. And what I would need to do is cross multiply. So I have six, this times this, which is going to be 6x plus 1 equals 1.262 uh, times 2x minus 2. I'm going to distribute. Um, so I get 6x plus 1 um, times 2 equals 2.5. We'll go, wait, 2.5. I need my calculator for some, my, my glasses for this. Um, so we have 2.523 uh, minus 2, oh, that's an x, minus 2.523. I'm going to get my x's together, so I'm going to go 6 um, minus 2.523, and I get 3.477x, so 3.477x equals, and then I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, so I get negative 3.523. I'm going to divide negative 3.523 divided by 3.4, 77 seven, and I get negative 1.01. .01. So X is about a uh, negative 1.01. .01. I would absolutely go back up and plug in my answer to here to make sure that it all came out correct and we didn't make an error on in the math area. But if you have a calculator option here, this is what you would do and you always should check your answers. Um, now, this one is a little bit different as well. This is still an exponential equation because you do have a variable right there as your power. Um, we're going to subtract 5 first, and we're going to move that to the other side. So we have 2e to the 2x minus 5 um, is equal to 6. Then I am going to divide by 2. So I have e to the 2x minus 5 is equal to 3. Now, I do want to pull this out front. However, um, there are times when... It is better to plug to pull when you pull the variable out of the exponential um, position that you take the natural log instead of log base 10. Because what happens when I do that, I'm going to get 2x minus 5, ln of e is equal to ln of 3. It kind of skips a step because see, ln of e, if you remember, is 1. And 1 times anything is just that value. So we have 2x minus 5 equals ln of 3. Um, solving for x, I get 2x equals ln of 3 uh, plus 5. And divide by 2, I get x equals ln of 3 plus 5. And then divide that by 2. And then that's going to be my answer. Um, if you, again, aren't allowed to use a calculator, this would just be left alone like that. For this problem, solving logarithmic equations, um, keep in mind, if you ever look at a problem and you, you might get stuck on something, um, put the base in there. That is base 10. If you don't see the base, it's base 10. 
Um, that may help you remember that you're then going to go 10 to the third power is equal to 2x plus 1. So that 1,000 equals 2x plus 1. We get 2x equals 999. And so x equals 999 divided by 2. For this problem, we can simplify the first two logs because they do have the same, well, that's a two. They do have the same base. And so I can combine these two. So what I'm going to get is log base two of x times x minus one. And that equals one. Um, we're going to use a change of base. We're going to move two to the first power. So two to the first power equals x times x minus one. Um, I notice that this is quadratic, so I'm going to get x squared minus x. And as soon again, as soon as you notice that something is quadratic, set it equal to zero and either use the quadratic formula. You can factor, you can uh, complete the square. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do to solve this. Um, this one is pretty simple just to uh, factor. So x minus 2 and then x plus 1. We're going to split this up. We go x plus 1 equals 0. So we have x is equal to negative 1. x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals 2. Um, so I do have two answers. Remember, my argument cannot be 0. So, or excuse me, my argument cannot be a negative number. So when I plug in 2 here and 2 here, 2 minus 1 is 1, it is positive. But when I plug in negative 1, that makes my argument negative. So that is not an option for an answer. Now. Something to think about for this problem right here is you do notice that all my variables, but I do have log, log, lock on all three sides. Whereas in the previous equation, if you remember, I only had logs on one side of the equation. I didn't have any logs on the other side. So what happens in this case is that um, actually the logs are going to cancel out. So I'm going to cancel these out, but then I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. So if you have logs on all three sides, meaning both sides equal the same value, they will, add, they will cancel out and you'll end up getting x divided by 5 because, you know, combine these two, right? If I were to combine these two, let's do this slowly. If I were to combine these two, I would get uh, log base 10 of x over 5 is equal to log base 10 of 2x minus 1. Uh, my logs cancel. I get x over 5 is equal to 2x minus 1. Put a 1 over that. You've got x equals 5 times 2x minus 1. You get x equals 10x minus 5. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to subtract. I get negative 9x equals negative 5. So x equals 5 ninths. So in this case, x is equal to 5 ninths. But it's one thing to just say that the logs cancel out. The reason why the logs can cancel out is, is actually pretty important. Um, I'm going to move this to the other side. And in doing that, we get log base 10 of x minus log base 10 of 5 minus log base 10 of 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. I can combine these with our log properties. And in doing that, um, I'm going to get log of x minus the quantity log base 10 of 5 plus log base 10 of 2x minus 1, okay, and that equals 0. Um, I did that because, you know, adding right here becomes uh, multiplication. So what we really have after I combine all of these uh, together is log base 10 of x divided by 5 times 2x minus 1, and that equals 0. Well, in this case, what's going to happen now is this still is base 10. So I'm going to go base to a cross equal sign. 10 to the 0 power equals x over 5 times 2x minus 1. And then anything to the 0 power is 1. So we have 1 equals x over 5 times 2x minus 1. In which case, if I cross multiply, I get x equals 5 times 2x minus 1, which is right here. But there are quite a few steps to solve this, of course. 
and just crossing out logs may or not be may or may not be okay with your teacher. Um, I think as long as you show this these steps down here, you'll be in good shape. Um, for this problem here, solving logarithmic equations, first thing we're going to do is divide by two. So I'm going to get ln of two x plus three um, is equal to four. Now, solving this problem right here. Um, in the beginning of this chapter, we said that log base e of x is equal to ln of x. So I'm actually going to replace ln with log base e. So I get um, 2x plus 3, um, and then equals 4. And then I get e to the 4th power is equal to 2x plus 3. E to the fourth power is um, just 2.718 to the fourth power, you know, um, whatever that is. It's really not relevant because if you're just solving for x and you don't have a calculator, you can simply say e to the fourth power minus 3. And then we're going to divide by 2 on both sides. And so I get x equals e to the fourth power minus 3 divided by 2. And then that's my x. Okay. Um, for this problem, uh, I noticed that I'm not, there's no way I'm going to get my bases the same. Not going to happen. So we are going to have to log, and I'm going to have to bring these exponents out. So, and remember, not just take that, you got to take the entire equation. So you get 5x plus 3 uh, log 2 equals 2x plus 1 log 3. Um, I'm going to get the logs on the same side. So I have 5x plus 3 divided by 2x plus 1 is equal to log of 3 divided by log of 2. Um, so in this case, we're going to go, I do need a calculator for this one. Uh, log of 3 is about 0.477. We're going to divide that by log of 2. Um, and log of 2... Uh, let's see here, log 2, and that's going to be approximately 1.58. So we get 5x plus 3 equals 2x plus 1, and that's about 1.584. Um, and in doing this problem, of course, I'm going to cross multiply again. I'm going to get 2x plus 1 uh, times, excuse me. I'm going to get 2x plus 1 times 1.5. So 1.584 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 5x plus 3. Um, I am going to distribute. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. And I'm going to get 3.17. So this times this gives me 3.17x uh, plus 1.584 equals 5x add 3. I'm going to get my x's on the same side, so I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. I'm going to get negative, oh, uh-oh, there we go. I'm going to get uh, negative 1.83x is equal to, and then 3 minus 1.584 is going to give me 1.416. And then I'm going to divide by negative 1.83. So divide by negative 1.83, and I get negative 0.773. So negative 0.773. So there's my x. Um, again, in these problems, um, x, whatever you get for x, that value, plug it in. It's right here. You're just going 2 to the 5 times negative 0.77. 3, add 3, and that should be equal to 3 to the 2 times negative 0.773 uh, plus 1. If you don't get the answers equal to each other when you plug your answer in, you need to go back, check your numbers. Um, so for this problem right here, again, all my bases are the same. Um, we are going to get log base 2 of x plus 5 is equal to log base 2, this is a minus, so minus means divide, x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. 
these two bases are going to cancel out. I'm going to get x plus 5 is equal to x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. I'm going to cross multiply. I get x minus 1 equals x plus 1 times x plus 5. I get x minus 1 equals, I'm going to FOIL, which is x squared plus 5 plus 1, so that's plus 6x plus 5. And you do notice that this is quadratic. You do need to set your equation equal to 0. Um, we're going to subtract, we get plus 5x. We're going to add 1, we get plus 6. Um, for this problem, we're going to get x plus 2. We get x plus 3. We split these up. We get x plus 3 equals 0, so we have x equals negative 3. x plus 2 equals 0, so x equals negative 2. So when I check my answers, let's see, negative 2 plus 5, that worked. Negative 2 minus 1 didn't work. That's out. Negative 3 plus 5, that works. Negative 3 plus, uh, what is that? Negative 3 minus 1, that is not working also. So neither one of my solutions works, so I have a no solution. Um, for this problem, again, bases are the same. So you do need to recognize the problems, and when you recognize the problems, you, you need to know what to do with these problems. When you recognize the bases are the same, you need to add your exponents in this problem. So x plus 3x minus 5 is equal to 7 to the 3x plus 1 plus 2x. So we have 2 to the 4x minus 5 equals 7 to the 3 plus 2 is what? 5x plus 1. I am not going to get my bases the same. So therefore, I am going to have to log both sides. And in doing that, I'm going to get 4x minus 5 log 2 equals 5x plus 1 log 7. I'm going to divide both sides by log of 2. So we get 4x minus 5 divided by 5x plus 1 equals log 7 divided by log of 2. <clears throat> so log of 7, so log of 7, and we have to use our calculator for this one, um, is equal to 0.845. And we're going to divide that by our log of 2, um, in control, I get 2.81. So that means we've got 4x minus 5 over 5x plus 1 is about 2.81. We're going to cross multiply and solve for x. We get 4x minus 5 times 1 equals 2.81 times 5x plus 1. 4x minus 5 equals, let's see, that times 5 is 14.03. So we get 14.03x plus 2.81. I'm going to subtract 4x's. I'm going to get 10.03x. I'm going to go subtract 2.81 from both sides. And I'm going to get negative 7.81. And negative 7.81 divided by 10.03 is negative 0.778 equals about negative 779. So a um, couple more. We have something like this is base 10. We're going to go 10 to the second power equals x minus 3 quantity squared. So we have 100 equals x squared, 3 and 3 is 6, minus 6x, plus 9. Um, we're going to set this equal to 0. We have x squared minus 6x, and then 9 minus 100 is negative 91. Um, and in this problem, it looks like what I'm going to do is... Uh, probably complete the square to solve that. So you can continue to do that. Um, for this problem right here, we have log base 10 of 6 divided by 3x is equal to negative 2. 10 to the negative 2 equals 6 over 3x. Um, 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 100 equals 6 over 3x. 
We're going to cross multiply. I get 3x is equal to 600, so x equals 200. Check your answer. Make sure it does work in your argument or values that for x. So 200 times 3, that works. Um, yeah, so uh, moving on. The next problem, um, there's a few problems here that you would just practice. Um, bases are the same, so I can say 14x plus 5 is equal to 13. Uh, 14x is equal to 8. x equals 8 over 14. Um, or uh, reducing that, you're going to get 4 sevenths. Um, the next one, your bases cannot get the same, um, be the, become the same. So what you would do is you would log both sides. So you're going to go x log 2 equals log 13. x equals log 13 divided by log 2. And then you would either leave that as your answer if you're not allowed to use a calculator, or you can approximate and that becomes 3.7. Okay. Um, this problem right here, um, I really like this problem because this 1 over 27 is actually 1 over 3 to the third power. And I'm trying to get the bases the same. So I'm going to change this to the numerator, and that becomes 3 to the negative third power. Don't forget, this already has a value up here. So this is going to be times x plus 3. And then the 9, I'm going to change to be um, 3 squared. And that'll be x plus 2. Bases are the same. I can set my exponents equal to each other. I get negative 3x minus 9 equals 2x plus 4. I'm distributing is what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to add 3x. I get 6x. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. I get negative, what, 13. And in doing this problem, I'm actually going to have to do this so I can divide, pull this up. Um, in getting this, I get uh, negative 13 over 6. Did I not add right? Let's see. 3x minus 9, negative 3x minus 9, 2x plus 4, subtract 2. Oh, I didn't add right, did I? Okay, so hold on. Let me fix that. Okay. Um, so we would bring this over. I get 5x is equal to negative 13. So x equals negative 13 fifths. Check. Woohoo. Okay. Um, last one, I am going to have to log both sides, so bring this out front. So we get x plus 1 log 3 equals x log 4. Um, so we're going to end up, after we simplify, we get x plus 1 over x equals log of 4 over log of 3. We did several problems like this today. So you're going to cross multiply after you simplify this term right here, and you do end up getting... Um, X is approximately 3.819. So you can check that. Make sure you can um, simplify that on your own. Um, another one of these problems, um, you know, keep the base, add the exponents. So you have X plus X minus 2 is equal to 5 to the 2X plus X minus 1. We have 3 to the 2X minus 2 equals 5 to the 3x minus 1. And because your variable is in the exponential position, you are going to pull that out. It's going to become 2x minus 2 log 3 equals, bring that out front, 3x minus 1 log 5. You're going to divide. You're going to get 2x minus 2 over 3x minus 1 is equal to log of 5 divided by log of 3 again you're going to get a number approximation for this, and then you're going to cross multiply, continuing on with the answer. Um, <clears throat> a log challenge, I like this one. Um, I'm going to rewrite this using the power rule, which basically says log of 64 to the 1 third power um, plus log, of 49, or log base 10 of 49 to the 1 half power um, is equal to this part here is x Oops. is going to be um, log of x squared minus log base 10 of 16 
to the one fourth power. Um, let's move happy tree over. Um, and notice that all the logs are base 10. They are going to cancel out. There is a process for doing that. You can show that or not. Um, and that's up to your teacher on, or your instructor on how um, you need to do that. But this is going to be then combining these two terms. Um, multiplication does mean, addition does mean multiplication. So what ends up happening is I get um, 64 right here, which is uh, the cube root of 64. So I'm trying to think if I want to go two to the sixth power um, to the one third power uh, times, and this is adding means multiply, we have seven uh, squared to the one half power is equal to, um, this is going to be x squared divided by, because minus means divide, 16, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the fourth power, to the 1 fourth power. And so simplifying this a little bit, 3 goes into 6 twice, I get 2 squared, which is 4. 2's cancel here, and I get times 7, so that's 28, equals, we have an x squared on top, and then the 4's will cancel, divided by 2, um, Cross multiply, I get x squared equals 28 times 2. Um, 28, we're going to break down into 2 times 14. And when I square root both sides, I'm going to end up getting 2 root 14. So x equals, x equals 2 root 14. Um, there's decimal approximation. I don't know what that is. Um, almost done. We have using properties um, of logs to combine those. We have ln of 4x plus 6 divided by x plus 5 equals ln of x. Again, those are going to cancel. I get 4x plus 6 divided by x plus 5 equals x. I'm going to cross multiply. I get x times x plus 5 is equal to 4x plus 6. I'm going to get x squared plus 5x equals 4x plus 6. And again, you realize that it is quadratic. You're going to move your ver everything over to the left or right, either way, whichever is easier for you. Negative 4x, um, I get plus x minus 6 equals 0. Um, x plus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to zero. I'm going to split both sides up and set them both equal to zero. X plus three is zero. X minus two is zero. So I get X equals two and X equals negative three. So plugging these values in, you do need to check two, two plus five is seven. So this value will work. X equals two. Let's plug in negative three. Um, four times negative three is negative 12 plus six. Not going to happen. So that's not a value because you cannot, again, Again, you can't, this value right here is called your argument and here. You cannot, even though this negative three, when you plug in here, you get a positive number, it has to work for both. So if one of my values is negative, it, it's not a possible solution, okay? So you do have one answer that it works. So um, that that's it for um, this lesson, this, the end of part two on log um, equations and exponential equations and solving them. Um, I do have another lesson on uh, with the TI Inspire on using the table to find uh, linear regression um, and uh, look forward to seeing that. Thanks for watching.